Hi everybody, welcome back to the official Under the Christmas Tree Dot Code UK YouTube channel. I'm Holly and I'm back with another demonstration today. This is something I'm quite excited to demonstrate. It is the Leapfrog Leapster GS Explorer. It's something that I'm sure all of you parents will have heard of because your children will have been going on about it so much. It is the next big thing, I can assure you of that. It's suitable for ages 4 to 9 years old and it's really simple to play. Let's just go through some of the features of the GS Explorer. When you're using the GS Explorer, it automatically adapts to your child's age and capabilities. So the more levels they complete, the harder the levels get. So, or if they can't find the answers to things, they get a little bit easier and then encourage them to get on as they go. Um, but definitely these do grow with your children. You can tailor the curriculum of some of the apps that are included. There are three apps included which equate to roughly £20 worth of apps. There are over 300 in the library including reading, maths, science and creativity skills. You can even get ebooks, music and videos and games and stuff like that all on the Leapster library. So definitely go and check that out. For more information you can of course visit the official Leapfrog website, I'll put the link to that below. But just while I'm here I'm going to show you the actual Leapster GS Explorer. This is it here. It's really quite compact. It's not too heavy but very. it's heavy enough not to be thrown about or anything like that. So you turn it on at the top here. And let's just say this is the first time I've turned it on as well. This is it here where it's starting up. Just let you see what it does. That's introduction song, I think. There's loads of different buttons. There's the volume down here. You can plug in headphones. So we'll do that just in a second. I'll just show you some of the features on this. There is the record button. There is the power button. There's a light for speaking into. It's the microphone for the voice recorder. This is for right and left for when you're playing um, on your games and things like that. Um, there are quite a few different compartments to it. There is a pause button and obviously the direction buttons on here. So there is a stylus as well, which I can just show you. This is it here, you just pull it down out of the bottom and it's attached to it so it doesn't get lost. So we're just going to select UK. And I've just pressed the tick. Okay, so today is September 19th. Want to tick there. I'm just going to enter my name as Santa just now, so let's just do that. Although obviously kids, I am not Santa. I just figured I would do that because Santa has obviously went to a lot of effort to do this. Okay. Okay, so you just press the tick button whenever you want. So you connect it to the app centre. Here you go. That's definitely something that will appeal to the kids making their own pets without all the mess of actually having one. So all you would do at this point is connect the GS to the computer and visit their app world. This is the home menu, <laughs> apparently so. I'll just tell you a little bit about this. It's actually a really easy to navigate games console. As you can see when I was touching the screen with the stylus. It was very, very simple to 
I've just turned it down a little bit from the bottom. Um, it was very simple to touch and very sensitive, which means it's not going to be hard. Your, your child doesn't need to, to hit the screen or anything like that. There shouldn't be any need for anything like that. Um, and because the stylus is attached, as you can see here with this green string, it's going to make it really much better so that you don't lose the stylus, so that you're not having to use your finger to tap on it all the time. So I'll just turn this back up again. And as you can hear, there is a little bit of tunes going on and there's a monkey here. Not all that sure what it's doing, but we'll just go Escape with it. Escape of the silly. Escape of the silly. So, okay, that's fair enough. What we could do now is go on and have a look at how to take a picture. I am the leader of the silly monster. <laughs> So you can see just how much your children are going to love playing with the sillies and everything like that. I've just turned it down so that we can see what's going on really. Um, it's going to be really, really fun to play with. I know that even as an adult, I would love to play with this and I know fine and well that a lot of even older children who are say um, 10 or 11 years old would probably want to play this as well or maybe even younger than four years old. But it is recommended for children between four and nine years old, so it's entirely up to you what age you give your child this. Um, I'll just go back to the home screen and we will then see if we can take a picture. So we'll just hit on the camera and here. Camera and video recorder. And I'm just going to turn the volume up. Tap an icon to get started. Okay, so let's just tap the camera. 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 To take a picture, press... Oh, I just took a picture. You just have to press one of... Oh, and another one. You just have to press one of these pictures at the top here. So what I'll do is I'll just let you see how good the camera is. You can see there I am in the picture there. And I'll just give you a little wave. And you can see that I'm in the picture there. Um. It's a really, really fun interactive game and it's not something that you're going to tire of or anything like that. Your children are really going to enjoy playing with this and as I mentioned, it does require batteries but I think you can charge it up with, by using the um, computer. You can attach it to your computer and it charges as it goes, I think. Um, I'm not at all certain about that though so I'll just have to let you know about that and I will put details in the description box below regarding that. Um, otherwise, this is a really, really great, a really, really great game and it's definitely something that I know your children would be interested in watching and playing with. So if you have any questions regarding the Leapster GS Explorer, feel free to get in touch. Obviously, the visit the... Obviously visit the Leapster website, Leapfrog website for more information or alternatively you can visit us at underthechristmastree.co.uk where you will find a whole range of information, customer reviews and even some prices. So thank you very much for watching. Bye!